I guess the actual definition is willful and repeated use of electronic media to embarrass, to threaten, to socially exclude people, um, maybe to damage reputations and friendships. So it's all of those things and it's very powerful because of the internet and the power of the internet. Well, I guess um, the actual bully is very anonymous and they can hide behind the screen. So just finding them it can be tough. And there's so many different technologies that can be used to bully. So it could be blogs, it could be social uh, networking sites, it could be cell phones, um, it could be images. So lots of different ways to cyber bully others as well. Well, parents play a huge role in this, and what they do uh, need to do first off is support their child and uh, talk to their child, find out the nature of uh, what's actually happening, because it can, it can hurt them emotionally and, and their behaviors. They may not want to go to school. Um, they may get really uh, low marks in school because they're not studying and they're not concentrating, so it can really affect the kids. Um, so for parents, again, supporting the youth and then not confronting the bully directly, getting someone to come in, uh, whether it be a teacher, a counselor, principal, possibly the police, or somebody to get involved to support and then also to gather some evidence, maybe print off some um, emails, uh, chat logs, print off um, screenshots, anything that they can to gather some evidence because it is called repetitive use of technologies. Could be um, anything from the kids um, just being very um, introverted and and not wanting to talk, not wanting to go to school, uh, not wanting to leave their room. Um, they can be feeling very depressed, um, completely moving away from usual family activities. Could be that they're all of a sudden seeing things arriving in their house. You know, maybe strange phone calls or hang-ups or anything along that line.